Hello there and welcome back. Today we've come down to this other little white cottage on Glencoe. I don't know the name of this but there is a lock just the other side of the little bridge there. I'll put the name of that lock on up here for you so you can find the cottage. What I don't like, it's got yellow doors and windows. Why? Um, but the nice thing with here, there are a lot of people up by the bridge, mainly Chinese tourists, and they're everywhere. So what I've done, I've walked down the river, and you've got this stunning waterfall. I've photographed this before, I'm going to take a shot of the cottage with the waterfall in, and I'm going to take a shot looking up the river and up to Glencoe Pass. It looks beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. Join me in a minute, I'm going to get set up and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. I've left Betsy in the car uh, because I don't want her coming down here. These rocks are quite slippery. Um, so she's in the car with my wife. It's a, it's a bit of a dodgy path coming down the side of the wall. You can walk down the road and climb over the wall, or there is a little bit of a path there. Um, but I just thought it's probably a bit safer just to leave Betsy in the car for this. Um, my first shot is going to be <coughs> looking up the river. I love the white in the white water, and because we're in shade, You've got a lot of black water and then more white again up to the bridge and up through Glencoe. It looks fantastic, it does. All I've got to do is hope I can get the shutter speed low enough to, uh, to look, to get the look that I want nice and blurred and smooth but still retaining detail. It's that detail that I want to try and keep in the shot if I can. Let me just show you the back of the camera quickly and I'll talk you through me thinking with this shot. So for this I am shooting at f18 and ISO 100 just to give me a sixth of a second. I'm loving the white water leading up and through the scene. I'm literally just going to focus down there on the white water and that will be the shot. I'll put it on for you right now to have a look at. Drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts. What did you think of that shot? I do love fast flowing water. I love the sound of it. I'm lucky that this uh, little dead cat on the microphone is quite good, so you should be able to hear me. I'm hoping you can hear me. It is so loud here with the water crashing through. It looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm now going to turn the camera. <coughs> I've just moved over very slightly. <coughs> And I'm now going to try and get the cottage, the waterfall, and looking up the glen. I am going to have to underexpose slightly to get the detail in the sky. So for this, I'm going to change my tactics, and I think I'm going to shoot ISO 50, which I don't do very often. But I'm also going to have to probably shoot F16. I'm hoping I can get away with F16, if not F18, just to bring the shutter speed down to about, probably with how fast it is, probably a tenth of a second today. Um, it does look beautiful. Let me show you the back of the camera again and I'll talk you through what I'm doing with this shot. So I'll get the settings up for you. We're on ISO, oh hang on, I took the shot. We're on ISO 50. I am just over one stop underexposed. 
F16 and it was an eighth of a second, six between a sixth and an eighth of a second. There is detail in the sky up there, which is what I want. So I am going to focus midpoint up the river. That should also get the cottage sharp as well as F16. And two second timer is on. And there's the shot. Looks absolutely beautiful. So I am now going to have a little walk back up towards the bridge. All the tourists have gone. So I'm going to see if I can catch something up here now. <coughs> <coughs> I've just slipped on the bank, spat on my arse, dropped the camera. So I'm hoping that's all right. Check it in a minute. So I'm now going to have a little walk up to the bridge. The lock here is beautiful. I can't think of the number, I can't pronounce it anyway. So, I'll put it on earlier for you. Um, if you just Google that, you can find this cottage. As I say, if you want to check the waterfall here, just walk back down, downstream, and you will get it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful waterfall. So, let's have a look here. I do love Glencoe. This is absolutely just stunning. Let me turn you around and show you this lock. Just look at that. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You couldn't wish for more. It is just stunning. So, what an absolutely incredible scene. I've just took a picture just from here. It's absolutely stunning. You could get down and there's foreground attractions to get everything. It looks just beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna take a shot now, probably with a bridge leading up and the path to the cottage. Um, I'll drop this shot on for you at the end of the video, um, as well as all the other photos. But this does, it looks beautiful. A few years back, I can't remember how many, probably about five, six years ago, I caught up in my BMW Z3 and I parked that here, literally here, with that in the background. Oh, the photo is absolutely incredible. If you come up and you've got a nice car, this is the place to come and get an epic, epic photo with your car in the shot. It looks just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. It's a beautiful place. So I'm going to try and get this shot lined up now. I'm trying to figure out what to do with to go over the bridge or use the bridge as well. Um, give me a minute and I'll figure it out. So for this shot, I am opting to set the camera up, as you can see, running along the left-hand side of the bridge. I don't want a symmetrical photograph with this. So I'm lining up close to this side and using this as a line as opposed to that one. But the path comes in to the gravel drive which then leads up and round to the cottage. So that's me thinking with this shot. Um, settings ISO 100, F16 and it's giving me a tenth of a second. Um, I am going to do a focus stack. I probably will be able to get this in one shot actually if I just focus towards the end of the bridge there. This may just get me everything in one shot at f16. If not, I have focus stacked anyway. And I'll put this on for you right now to have a quick look at. Again, drop me your thoughts, drop me a comment.
So, what do you think of that for a view? Absolutely, it's just breathtaking. This is such a fantastic location, and again, the cottage. I'm not a fan of the yellow windows and the yellow door, but that's just personal choice. I think they like it, so fair play. Um, please check out the links in the description below. There's links to all my social media pages. There's links to my sister and brother-in-law's guest house on the Isle of Mull, which I'll be going in a few days. Um, while I'm up here, I might as well go and visit my sister. Um, I haven't seen her since last October, I think, last time I come up here. So. I'll go and uh, say hello and get a free bed. Always welcome, innit? I'll drop these photographs on now for you. Please subscribe. Um, your support really is appreciated. Enjoy the photos and whether you like them or not, drop me a comment. I don't mind you know, a bit of criticism. Don't be a troll. You know, if, if there's something you don't like, let me know. If you don't like the position I've took this bridge, uh, let me know, it's entirely up to you how you shoot it um, for me I just fancied doing it that way so I did um, yeah, I'll drop all these photos on for you now um, enjoy them, I hope you enjoy them and until next time take it easy and I'll catch you next time <laughs>